Hi everybody, Y here with the Birds Run for my next whipping chat. This is progress report for hashtag DP for pets 2023. Um, I finished my first canvas. I am starting on my second canvas, which is my first premium canvas from Diamond Art Club. And it is called Happy Your Home. And it is like a comical version of my little dog before we got his hair cut this weekend. Anyways, so I am calling this Benson. Um, so here, it is Monday morning. Um, and if you've been around the channel, you know that I get up super early. So I started working super early this morning. Actually went into the office and got some things that I needed to complete my job and I am home and it's time to take a break. And what a better way to take a break than by working on this beautiful canvas. I have my sweet tea in my dog mom mug and I am ready to get started. So thank you all for joining me the, today while I do this with the chat. I want to thank all of my subscribers and I hope that you'll do all the things like comment and share out the channel and watch it grow to we'll watch it grow together. If you're not already a subscriber, I hope you like what you see. Subscribe for more diamond painting content as well as other shenanigans as we call them. My channel is more than just diamond art painting. It is about the shenanigans of empty nesters. <laughs> so anyways, let's get painting. So I think I'm going to start in a corner. I think I'll start in this bottom corner. So what I'm going to do, okay, this is my first time working on a die on a premium canvas so it is my first time um first time sectioning it off and how appropriate that i use the loose papers that are dog themed right if you want to know any more about the challenge that i'm in just go to, it's hosted by Diamond Painting Anonymous. And you can go to her channel and get all the information that you want on DP for Pets 2023. So there we are. We are started with this bottom section here. Or I'm going to start with this bottom section here. I have already kitted up everything but the ABs. They are here in a bag. They are still in their bags. I put the labels on the bag. And there were two bags of 321s, and only one of them would fit in here comfortably. So I decided not to open the second one just yet. So I'm going to use my cat tray for this one. Cat proof tray it's got a paw on it which i think is a puppy paw so we're going to use that tray to do this one and let's get started i'm so excited let's start with the k's that are in the corners and so i love the labels that they give you at diamond art club because now i don't have to go back and look anywhere I can see exactly what is in each of my cubes based on, oh, well, I guess I can move that one up. Based on, it has the number, the symbol, and it has the DMC code on it. So I really like that. These are the shiniest diamonds I think I've ever seen. And they're not even ABs. They are just that shiny. I don't know if you can see just how glimmery those are. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to do this painting. All right, so let's get started. Can you see me down here in this corner? 
<clears throat> I got the camera set up a little different than I normally set it up. So um, if you have any issues, just leave me a comment and I'll know that I need to fix something. So this is also my first time working with a poured glue canvas as opposed to adhes double-sided adhesive. So we're going to see what the difference is in doing the, these back to back because the one that I did just before this one was um, was double-sided adhesive and not cord glue. So I did a post review on the first canvas that I did. It was a custom canvas of our dog Benson and you know, at the, in the beginning, I was really happy with it, and then as I start, as I got going, I realized how, just how off the colors were. So I'm a little, a little disappointed. It is, you know, chalk it up to I didn't know what I was doing when I ordered a com custom canvas from Amazon. Um, next time, I would definitely get it from a reputable company. But the picture itself is really pretty. Um, it, I mean, it turned out okay, except in one spot. And I was just not happy. So it'll go, instead of going on the wall in the den like I wanted it to, it will go, it will just stay in the book. Which is okay. I didn't pay a lot of money for it. But, you know, any amount of money you're out is money you're out. I'm not highly upset because I didn't spend a lot of money. So I think next time when I'm ready to do another custom canvas, I think I'll let a reputable company do it rather than somebody I don't know or have. I mean, I didn't even know who it was that was doing it. It was just uh, offered on Amazon to a custom painting. So I don't even know who did it. But it did come China mail, so I do know that it was done in China, as most of the diamond paintings are. So that's not an issue for me. I think it'd be really hard to have an issue with anything made in China these days, because everything is made in China or Taiwan or... someplace like that and I guess they can just do it cheaper I, I don't know at first I was thinking I don't want to buy anything that was made in China but I don't know I've gotten over it <laughs> gotten over it Love me some Timu, and it's coming direct from China, so there's that. I do love Timu, but you know, some of their prices you've got to kind of watch out. Look on Amazon first before you just rush to buy it at Timu. And the other thing, now, I'm not bashing them in any way, shape, or form because I love shopping at Timu. I love going on the uh, app or the website and just getting lost in the rabbit hole that is Timu. But that being said, you have to be very careful about reading the descriptions of your items, the items that you're interested in, and make sure that you are selecting the right thing when you are purchasing. Because if you think you're getting a four pack of something because it says four pieces, you need to really read and make sure that you are buying the four pack because their pricing that they show you is usually for one and the price is really, really cheap. And then when you add, you want all four of them, um, that price could quadruple. You just have to be very careful. Also, um, sizes, a lot of the, um, Sizing that I've seen is done in centimeters and not 
um, inches. So you have to be very careful when you order. I did order a rug. When I came, it, <laughs> when it came here, it was like doll room sized. I was so disappointed. So disappointed. So just be careful. But if you love to shop and you love to save money, it is definitely. And it gets here quickly. I'm just surprised because I've ordered from, I, I don't know if it's Sheen or Shine. Um, I've ordered clothes from there before and they've taken, you know, four months to get here. The, um, the Timu orders get here usually within a week, sometimes even less. They do have a um, distribution center in New Jersey. So if they don't have to get your item all the way from China, sometimes they have it in stock in New Jersey. And then it can get here much quicker. It is still Timu. It is still Japanese or uh, China owned. But it just is distributed more local. It doesn't make it a local store. It just makes it a local distributor. For those of you who care that their stores be local. But you would think, even with shipping overseas, that the stuff would be more expensive. But it's not. I've gotten a lot of really, really neat things. they not necessarily craft related, but just some really, really neat items. And when you get lost in the rabbit hole of Timu, you find some of the coolest. Wow, how come I didn't think of that items? And that's kind of cool. So yeah, I've been suckered in one a time or two <laughs> i don't want to say once or twice it's a time or two or a hundred i probably have ordered a dozen times from tina now and i have no i've never tried to work to return anything and everything except the rug that i ordered i was able to use in some way shape or form now, I, that being said, I am new to diamond painting, and I, um, okay, the poured glue is very different, and I have ordered stuff for diamond painting that I decided that I would rather do a different way, so I have a lot of diamond painting storage, not a lot, but I have some diamond painting storage that I purchased from Timu that I no longer use, that I'm probably going to donate to the Creative Reuse store. People go in there all the time looking for storage solutions. So somebody would be very happy to come across this storage find. But yes, um, I mentioned in, in a previous whip and chat that we have a store here it is a franchise called creative reuse um its parent company is creative reuse its local name is scrap rva and it's a place where people just donate unused unwanted craft type items it's all craft stuff it's all things that artists can make something out of it's they offer classes. They, um, it, it's a nonprofit donation driven store that has everything, just everything you can imagine. And it's been all donated to them to sell instead of going in the landfill. So if, um, I have made several trips there with scrapbook supplies that I no longer wanted or needed. And um, of course, when I every time I go in there, I come back with something. 
Uh, <laughs> so keep that in mind when you donate there. You're probably going to want to walk around. It's a really small, really tight space that they have made the most of. <laughs> there is stuff everywhere. And every now and then they run specials. Like if they get a bunch of yarn, they'll do fill a bag with yarn for one price. And then there's a day of the month where all of their fabric is $2 a pound. And then there was a time somebody um, donated hundreds of, oh, who did them? The Stampin' Up, hundreds of Stampin' Up kits. And so they did a fill a bag for $5 or something. And I mean, that was like a really good deal to fill a bag of Stampin' Up stuff for five bucks. Maybe it was $10. I don't know. But they had hundreds. Okay, number five. Um, so yeah, I took advantage of that one and got a bunch of brand new Stampin' Up! stamp sets. My daughter likes to go and get the yarn and the, the, uh, fabric. She sews and crochets. I don't do any of that stuff. Um, I like going in there and looking for, uh, Creative memories supplies. Um, I have tons of the old 12 by 12 scrapbooks, the ones that weren't perfectly 12 by 12. And so I'm always looking for pages and page protectors to use with my older albums. I have amassed quite a collection, I have lots now. <laughs> but I won't turn them down if I see them. I have another resale shop that's just down the street that I can go to, and they have a little craft section. It's just a little section. But every now and then I will find one of the old Creative Memories scrapbooks. You know, they used to come with pages in them, and they don't anymore. Now it's everything is a la carte. You buy a cover and then you have to buy pages to go with it. And now they have different kinds of pages. So um, the new is new and nice and different. The old I want to use. So I am always looking every time I go into the creative reuse. I'm looking. But they have stencils and um, die cut machines and dies and. Um, I mean, just everything. And then they have old sewing machines that somebody has repaired and put on their shelves. Um, jewelry supplies, all kinds of stuff. It was right up my alley because I like doing more than just this. I, I dabble in making some jewelry. I scrapbook. And now I diamond paint. I haven't seen diamond painting supplies but you know what I wasn't looking for them either so they may very well have diamond painting supplies they have lots of painting supplies lots of mixed media if you don't know what mixed media is it's anything that isn't paper um, it could be old slide projector slides or um, bottle caps, uh, ephemera, like matchbook covers and cigar boxes. They have an area where they have all um, artificial flowers. They have a place where there's just gift wrap and bows and ribbon. And yeah, it's a very cool place. Very cool place. And I am the person that when I do something, I have to have everything. I have to have it all. And then, you know, two years down the road, it's just collect and dust somewhere. So I have donated quite a bit to the Creative Reuse. 
because better that somebody else can use it for a really, really good price than for it to sit in my house and collect dust. I don't like dust anyways. So anyways, how is everybody? It is Monday. Are you a I hate Mondays person or are you a fresh new week person? Personally, I love Mondays. Monday is the chance to start all over, make it just perfect however you want to be. And I am a firm believer in your attitude can dictate your attitude for the whole day, the whole week, the whole month. So if you wake up with a great attitude, you can keep that all day long and nobody can take that away from you. A very wise teacher taught me that many years ago. I don't know if she's still around or not, though, the teacher that taught me that. But she was a pretty amazing lady. She wasn't my teacher. She was a teacher at a place where I worked. And I used to work for a homeschool and counseling center for hurting and troubled teenage girls. And the girls lived on campus, and the parents participated in group activities and parental activities during the week. So the girls got to see their families a couple of times a week. And, but we had a school on property and this was the teacher. And she, you know, we always wanted to show positivity to the girls. That was part of their program. You know, the whole world is not awful. Um, so we always tried to show positivity and she was the epitome of positivity. She was the perfect teacher to have at the school. She and I left at about the same time she retired and I moved out of state. So... I left my job to move here. Gosh, that seems like ages ago. I mean, it really was. It was a long time ago. I've been here 13 years now. And some of the girls that were in the program when I worked there, because I worked there for, for a while, and some of the girls that were in the program there, I am still in contact with via Facebook and Messenger. And I'm so proud of them. The, the young women they turned out to be was just amazing. The program there was just amazing. So this won't be a really long whip and chat today because I have to get back to work. Like I said, I was just taking a break. I'm having a computer issue at the moment and I'm unable to log into my work computer and I don't know why. So I may have to go back to the office later just to print off some things that I need to make the rest of my numbers match. So yeah, that's kind of annoying when the programs don't work right. 
And I don't know why it got cut off. Because I was there this morning and it was fine. We were on it. My daughter went with me this morning. That's how I come I say we. I don't know if she turned it off off. I don't know. I'll have to ask her. But at any rate, we'll go later tonight and turn it back on. Maybe while we're out, we'll get a milkshake from Cookout. Have you ever had a milkshake from Cookout? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that just so we can go get a milkshake. <laughs> Super good stuff. That's what it is. Wow, this is really going to be pretty. Can you see the sparkle on these? They are just beautiful. Just beautiful. And then the drill field is so clear so far. I mean, see, I've really, really done a lot, right? All right, there's some static in these. They don't want to come off of the tray. So I may have to go cut up a dryer sheet. All right, S. Another red. Actually, this is orange. I'm getting a little bit of a headache today, and I don't know why I haven't been bothered by headaches in a very long time. But today I am struggling. I was struggling when I got up this morning. I had my coffee. I'm still struggling. So I don't know if it's the weather. If yesterday it was kind of chilly out. Today it is absolutely beautiful. We've been walking the dog with short sleeves. So I do have a sweater on. I always have a sweater on. I don't know what it is. Oh, I do know what it is. I have this thing about my arms showing. And so I always have a sweater of some kind. This is a very lightweight cardigan that's not real huggy. And, and I can diamond paint and be comfortable in it. It can be comfortable sitting in front of the TV. It's just a comfy sweater. I bought two of them, a black one and a like a winter white. And I love them. They're perfect. So I did my laundry today, this morning while I was working. It was tumbling away. I went down at lunchtime and folded it all, got it ready. My husband has to do some of it for me because I can't bend over and I can't carry it. So I meant to do it yesterday while we were all home, but nobody carried it down for me. So I had to, um, and we all do our own laundry in this house. My husband does his own laundry. The kids do their own laundry and I do mine. And the kids are packing to move this week. So um, they wanted the washing machine, and I was like, wait a minute, my clothes need to wash yesterday. I'm mom, I'm first. So I did my laundry, and now the kids are doing theirs. I mean, I know it's important that they have clean, clean clothes, especially since they sold their washer and dryer when they moved here. So they don't have a washer and dryer going to New York with them. So at least that buys them a little bit of time before they absolutely have to have a washing machine in their house. Um, they need first, well, they do need a washing machine. There's no, no ands, ifs, or buts about it. They need a washing machine. Um, 
but they also need to get a snowblower before winter because the prices go up in the winter time and they definitely need a snowblower because um my daughter's birthday is in november and last year on her birthday they had five feet of snow so yeah, we said, you guys need to buy a snowblower when you get there in the summertime when they're not real expensive. So they will look for that. My daughter said, oh, I don't mind shoveling. And I said, you, <laughs> you've never lived where you get five feet of snow in four hours. You are not going to want to shovel that. I'm from the Detroit area. So, um, my parents lived in the, uh, not quite the Upper Peninsula, but they lived in northern Michigan. And um, just, just shy of crossing the bridge to the Upper Peninsula. And they would have snow drifts that were six feet tall on the sides of the roads much of the wintertime. So I... I know what it's like to have snow. When I left Michigan for the South, I left in, during one of Michigan's worst snowstorms. I thought I was going to get stuck a couple of times trying to get out of there, but I managed to get out and I'm not going back. <laughs> I told my daughter I won't be visiting you for your birthday. That's for sure. <clears throat> I have no desire for cold, wet weather that sticks around for a long time. I mean, we have cold, wet weather here, but not like she's going to encounter. I mean, yeah, it would be, it'll be fun the first couple of snows, but oh, and they're going to be there six years. Yeah. So you're going to want some really warm clothes. We went to one of those, uh, have y'all ever been to one of those um, bin stores? It's like the Amazon returns where everything in the bin is um, $10 on Monday and every day the price goes down. So like if you go on Wednesday, everything is $7. And then by Friday, it's everything is $2. Well, we went, and that's, that's in the tables. They have other stuff that's actually got a price tag on it and sits there all the time. But we were, um, we went in there and my daughter found the, it was the only pair. It was just meant for her, a pair of fleece lined muckluck boots for $5. They, and it was the only pair and they were her size. And I said, you can't afford not to get those for $5. But mom, I have to pack. You can't afford not to get those for $5. So she got them and she is so happy that she did because she was looking them up. They're expensive boots. She got them for $5. It was a, uh, all the clothes and shoes were $5 that day. And we just got lucky, and the pair that she liked was in her size, so for five bucks. So yeah, the store itself is um, touch and go. Some days you don't see anything, and other days you see a bunch of things. Um, the other store that we have that's very much similar to it is called Smalls. And it is um, based on the color of the price tag. So if, let's say if it was purple, it was half off. If it was green, it was 75% off. I, I'm not sure if that's the, colors, the color scheme that they have at the moment. but And we found all kinds of stuff. They, and they, they're a little more... Um, a little more organized, so like they try to put all craft items together and housewares together. And 
and toys, baby toys. They have all the baby stuff is together. Uh, health and beauty is all together. So yeah, it's, it's much different. But that one was cool. We have one of those new here as well. I know my daughter bought her friend. Um, they're like Fitbits. You know, just fitness watches. They're like four dollars a piece. I was like, dang, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> But tell me what your experience has been with those types of stores, if you have them. Level. There it is. I should probably wait till I get them all in there. There we go. All right, let me see how, how long I've been on here. Oh, 36 minutes. I probably need to go back to work. So, uh, again, thanks for subscribing. Do all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, share out the channel. Let's watch it grow together. Don't forget about the Zoom link that's available. Um, I am on it now. There is nobody there. Grab a friend, hang out together and craft. Uh, the information is at the bottom of this video description, also on the community tab. So until next time, have a fab day.